Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to demonstrate dry brushing. And dry brushing is a technique of where you're taking a particular color, and today we're going to be using white on our Santa Claus, on our um, letter openers of our bear and hillbilly. And what this does is just kind of adds another layer of, or a detail to your carving. And it also shows, uh, like on jeans, it shows a wear look. Also on Santa's, it, it shows a little frost look. And so we're going to take our brush here, our stencil brush that you can get at your local hobby stores or wherever good paints and brushes are sold. And you'll, what you'll do is just bear it, put you some white out here on the table as you can see. And I am just take the end of it. I don't dunk the whole thing. And so I just put it on the very end of the bristles and I come in here and I dab a little, just a little bit more there. There we go. And then we're just going to hit the areas of where, you know, just lightly. Now, sometimes you got, that's why you got to dance this out on the table. Um, and this just breaks up these areas like this here. Uh, he's been trodden through the snow, maybe, uh, to deliver gifts, or maybe someone's going to give him some milk and cookies here. I don't know. But anyway, this is a, a rough out that I did. And he's a hillbilly rough out of Ezra. And all I did was took his hat and made it into a uh, Santa hat and so now we're just going to come in here and just you can see there look at there how that makes those wrinkles really pop there on the shoulder and the back and just go all over load your brush up again and just again don't get too crazy really dance it out until it's almost gone because I've learned through experience that if you don't do that um, you're going to have a glob of white somewhere where you don't want it. All right, looky there. Look how that looks there on his shoulder and his arm. And those are by the wrinkles that we put. And now we're going to move up here to the, the hat. And dab out, dab out. Hit that there. Now again, this just adding another layer of detail to your carving. And then when you dip this in our boil linseed solution, uh, which you can see on our videos that we've done before, you can look up that, how we paint and seal our carvings. You can watch that video on how to do that. But we come in here and we just hit these areas. Just see, you can see our tool marks. I just like that and uh, it just really helps out of course shading we did our shading earlier and uh, on our project here and it just really makes your carving come to life all right and you know sometimes i put just a little bit of just on the cheeks. He's been out there in the elements and got some frosty cheeks a little bit. So anyway, that's good enough for this guy. Okay, now we're going to uh, show you how we do the bear letter opener. And again, we're doing the same process as we did with the Santa. And again, we're just hitting these areas. Looky there. Now that brings that to life. Shows a little wear. Just a little bit of wear on him. If you don't want to do the fur, you don't have to. You can just leave it like it is right there. Now, Bear, he probably sits down a lot, so it's going to probably wear out his bottom there a little bit. So we'll put an extra little layer there. And, I, you know, just hit here and there if you'd like. And kind of break him up a little bit. All right, and then we're going to come in here with just a few more strokes, and then we will. Hit a little bit there on his patch, you know. 
And again, hit his nose a little bit. Hit the snout a little bit if you want. All right. So that's him on the bear. Now let's move on over here to our heel person, our heel belly letter opener guy. And again, we're using the same process of getting our paints and dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. All right, here we go. Give him a little age look, if you'd like. A little bit on the hat. Just a little bit there on his cheeks. So there you can see, folks, how we dry brush your projects and how they can make them come to life. And uh, just, again, as I said earlier, it just brings more detail to your carving. And uh, try it out. Don't be afraid. Get out of your comfort zone and give this a shot. And so, again, thank you, folks, for joining us today. And we wish you happy carving. And uh, we'll see you real soon. And like and subscribe. And we'll see you all later.